Hello everyone! I'm here. I'm in Japan and it's been three weeks ish, I think a little bit over, since I have moved now. Apologies for looking like shit, I'm makeup less right now and contact lensless and my glasses make my eyes really small and all that business. There is a reason. And no, I'm not making an apology video. I uh, got the idea to do a video about full face of uh, 100 yen store makeup and I was pretty set on that idea but then I thought about it and I was like, Whoa. What a waste. Because I know concealers and foundations are never going to match my skin. So it was like really just buying it for the sake of buying it. You can't give away used makeup. I decided instead to pick up things I was actually interested in and seem cute. <sighs> this is what I got. I went to Daiso, which is a bit international now. If you don't know what it is, it's a 100 yen store or a like a dollar store. Everything in there is 100 yen unless otherwise marked. Of course, tax on top of that, but it's all very, very cheap. I don't expect this to be the highest of quality or anything like that, but I'll go through what I got. Here's a receipt, 110, 110, 110, 110 on everything. The 100 is the price and then the 10 is the tax. Yeah, let's start looking at them. We'll stop fucking ranting already. Three colors, eyeshadow, uh, smoke bronc, no? Brown pink, smonk pink. The collaboration with Spin, but I thought out of all the little eyeshadow palettes, this one had the cutest combination of colors. And I thought, why not? Oh wait. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, I'm so funny. It's the liquid eyeliner. Uh, it's dark brown and it's also part of the Spins collab. I'm interested in seeing how this is. Sheer lip gloss. I don't know if you can see, but it has like little, you can see like little blue sparkles in it, which I thought was actually really cute. Matte lipstick. Color is Ringo. It's also part of the Why Not Spins one. It's hard to show it. Look, it's a heart. And I thought that was cute. That's why I got it. Um, Another thing I got. It's not technically makeup, but I was like, what the fuck? It seemed very curious to try. Face lift up tape to lift up your face, I suppose. Mascara, also part of the Spins collab. The color is Bordeaux. The It Girl eyeshadow. This one is pretty cute packaging. Dark brown eyebrow pencil. Cream cheek and lip. This is also It Girl. All right, I'll be back with a full face of foundation to try this stuff over. Okay. I'm back and I look a bit creepy because <laughs> I've got my full face of foundation on. I've done some contour as well because I didn't buy any contour. And I also put a little bit of eyelid tape on. So I just have a little bit of a double eyelid and I put in circle lenses. I look worse, I think. <laughs> I look worse than I did without makeup, but that's probably because I just look like a pancake. I'm going to be using the It Girl Cream and Blush. It's meant to be for lips as well, but I don't think I'll use it for my lips. There it is. I chose this color because the rest were more like corally, pinky, orangey ones and like were pretty bright. I like a natural red sort of color. On the example, this one seemed to be the most like, this blood. I always hate touching with the shiny surface. It looks so nice. I don't like wrecking it. Not all it came off. I think I'm used to softer ones. This is gonna be hard to blend. Ugh. Yeah, this is really shit to use if you wear a lot of foundation. I should have picked a powder. This is really hard to blend, so I'm looking a bit like a clown. Like, it's really just sticking. I have a feeling this would be easier if it was on, like, more blank skin. I kind of look like Boo Boo before right now. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, it looks better on camera than it does in real life. I look like I have a rash. Okay, let me try it on, like, my naked hand. Ah, uh, no! It's kind of like, um... It's not very creamy quite waxy and even on my hand it's hard to blend even if you're wearing baby cream under this you'll end up smearing your baby cream everywhere i seriously look quite better on camera <laughs> i'm not even kidding and that's rare i usually look better in real life ah! uh, uh, <laughs> it's a fucking spider what the fuck it's just like a jumping spider but i'm not used to spiders in japan i don't know if this one's bad i don't have a cup i have like a a gacha ball? Oh, uh, it looks scary. I don't know if it's like bad. I don't know if it's like poison. Well, that's over. I guess my general review of this, no, don't like it. It's not good. Eyeshadow. So I'm going to start with this one. For the sake of it all, I'm going to use the little... I'll start with the pink. 
It's been years and years and years and years and years since I've used one of these because they suck and they feel bad. They're the equivalent of dragging nails across a chalkboard but on your eyelid. Um, you can barely even see it on camera. And I'm going to try the brown one in the middle. This one's actually really dark. When I was a teenager I definitely would have been like all over this. Now, not really. It's pretty good for 100 yen. It's pigmented enough. It's not horrible. The next product I want to try is the It Girl white shimmer eyeshadow. I was a little disappointed with the cream blush not being good because the this particular series, the It Girl one, got pretty popular. Japanese makeup blogs were posting about it being good. The packaging is still cute. I won't use a brush just for like the sake of seeing how good it is on its own. Uh, that's it on my finger. Mm. Um, I don't know if you can tell the difference but it's actually not Bad. Obviously it's not that pigmented. I wouldn't use this for like, for like, just a, like a kind of a highlight eyeshadow. It's really not that bad. So when I've finished my eyeshadow, I always go straight to eyeliner. So this is the brown eyeliner and it's a liquid eyeliner. So yeah, I'm interested in seeing how it actually, like, if it's any good. My guess is that if I wore this out, uh, it probably would not stay. The inside looks like a texture. It's okay. I just say the tip is like way too thick. I just noticed there's like a hole kicked in my door. <laughs> what the fuck? It seems like my room used to be like an old tatami room for sitting in or like a really, really old bedroom. But I don't think it would have been a bedroom because there's no closet built in or anything like that. Anyway, I have Tommy underneath the carpet and then also I, I'm the only one in the house with sliding doors. <laughs> They've got like patterns on them and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I don't know who the fuck kicked a hole in the door and I don't know why I've only noticed it three weeks after moving in here. But I usually put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I'll use the It Girl one again. I might give the peachy color I mean the orange color. I keep calling it peachy. Peaches are oranges in Australia. Peaches are oranges? Peaches are orange in Australia. <laughs> yeah, that looks like shit. I look like a damn clown in real life. I, I wonder if I do on camera. My eye bags are kind of bad. I don't think I'm getting enough sleep. So next is mascara. This is the Bordeaux one. I'm not sure it's red or brown, so we'll give this a go. And this is definitely more red. It's uh, quite gooey. Definitely does not have any fiber in it. All right, let's give it a go. It's very gooey, so I'm getting like a lot on my eyelids. I don't know if you can really tell that they're red, but they are just a little bit red. The main thing is that you'll spend a lot of time with it. I spend a lot of time with mascara anyway because I lack a lot of it, but this one had me really going at it for a while. It was more gooey. There's no fiber in it. It's a bit too wet and I'd say it doesn't dry fast enough. So it's a bit of a struggle putting it on and not getting it all over your eyelids like me. Okay, otherwise, I like the color. I've been into colored mascara lately. I'm waiting for a, another red one to arrive right now. And I bought a white one and I bought a pink one too. <laughs> the next thing is lipstick. So this is the matte lipstick in Ringo and it's the Why Not Spins collection. This one's cute. It's like a heart. It reminds me of the Holika. I think it was Holika Holika ones that came out. It also reminds me of the I'm Meme ones. Is it I'm Meme or is it I'm May May? I'm hoping the color isn't too crazy. I chose this one because it was, I guess, the most muted one. I want to see how far. I don't want to break it though. That's how much you get. That's all right. The heart shape is cute. Nothing comes off. That's a bad sign for lipstick. It means you're going to be in a world of dragging, usually. Mm. Oh, that's not good. It's really tough. Really, really tough. It's very dry. It's definitely more pink than red. I never wear this shade of pink so I look like a fucking weirdo right now. This one is really tough. I guess really if you don't give a fuck then it's fine because it did come off. It's just it takes a little bit of pressing. The texture isn't great. The red is not red. It's pink so I'm wondering what the pink looks like. I know I, like it's 100 yen. Of course I'm not going to be impressed. I've got to say I look way better on camera than I do in real life right now. In real life, I look like a fucking nonce. No, if I saw myself in real life, I think it looks like she's been sweating all day. She looks ill. <laughs> I 
next step is the eyebrow pencil. I used to use Dicer eyebrow pencil when I was a teenager. A lot of them were horrible, awful, horrible, awful. But uh, somewhere okay. I feel like this might be really, really tough. Like a white film on it, which is already a bad sign. The fact it drew on my hand is a good sign though. I remember them being so bad that even just like doing this, nothing would come off, but that was a long time ago as well. I have to say, uh, all of the makeup I'm using now is far better than old Daiso makeup, which I used to use. I probably shouldn't have done my eyebrows. They look a bit silly right now. Eh, it's okay if you need it. It's pretty hard to blend. I'm looking totally weird. Like, this is really different from my normal. <laughs> Let's end this before I look even worse on the item I've been looking forward to the most, which is the sheer lip gloss with the purple glitter inside. It's really pretty. Oh, I wish you could see it on camera. You can only see a little bit. It's like super pretty in real life. Oh. You know what that sound means? It's not thick. It's really watery. It is kind of like oil so it's like really thin but it still puts a shine on and it kind of feels like I've just put oil on my lips I prefer like thick gooey one so it wasn't fantastic so if I was a high schooler would I use this stuff yes I would not use the it girl blush I'm not budging on that one the eyeshadow though pretty good both the it girl one and the why not one the eyeliner decent but what it was it was okay lipstick disappointing because it would be different if it was just the texture which obviously wasn't good but i was expecting red and i got pink lip gloss yeah i reckon go for it um i just have a personal preference for sticky ones but a lot of people hate the stickiness of lip gloss this one's like an oil sort of texture like it's just thin and i don't think it really made my lips very glittery or anything like that but that's fine scar okay gooey though. overall like how much did i spend on all this 110, 110, 110, 440, 550, 660, 770, 880. So that's eight products for American equivalent at about eight bucks or nine bucks. As a teenager, I guess a Japanese teenager, you're sent into Daiso with a, a thousand yen note. You can get all this, you can get so much makeup for own and you'd get change back, you know? Which is great, like I would have loved that. All you need is a thousand yen note and you can get so much, so much, which is great. And like, it's not like they're horrible. The only one I would say like definitely no to is the cream blush. There are other blushes in there for the same price. So you can get so much and it's such a good place to start. And like, even if you don't live in Japan, I recommend looking at your local, like you might have a Daiso in your country or like in your state or something like that. Have a look because I have a lot of stuff. Of course, Daiso eyelashes are really good. And as a thank you for watching to the end of this video, I'm going to try weird ass face stretchy tape. <laughs> I think this is like cosplay tape, maybe. Or maybe people just use it. It looks like, I don't know where to do. Yep. I don't know if this will actually do anything. And you meant it go like, it says it sticks with makeup, but it just immediately came off. All right, that one didn't work. And then am I meant to peel the top part off? Uh, uh, I don't know if that did anything, but it is stuck in my face. Ah, it just immediately comes off. I had a bit of a fun time making this one. I like making makeup content. Makeup content is fun because I don't have to go outside. About like uploads and stuff, I, I do go to school and there's like other things I wanna do, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed. If you would like more content like this, then let me know. But yeah, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye. I don't know how long she's going to be in the kitchen singing. Doesn't she know some of us are YouTubers? Are